Yo, what is up guys? It is Angel coming back at you with another awesome review. And today we got something that I'm super excited about in the action figure world, not only because it's another awesome Mezco figure to add to my collection, but because it's a character that doesn't really get any love in the action figure sense. Like, this is the first action figure version of the mask, I believe. Um, at least the comic version, not the movie um uh, edition of, of jim carrey but this is exciting because i love the mask always been a fan ever since the movie um i read a couple of the comics and i just think he's one of those overpowered characters who just has a really cool relatable design it's just a guy who wears a mask so i think that's cool in a sense and i just love the way he looks as well so looking at the front of the box Pretty awesome, you know, usual Mezco design, but um, there's a lot going on here. We got the right side, the back, showing off all the accessories and cool pictures of the mask, and then the right side. So yeah, this is a usual kind of box for Mezco. I like the slim, sleek design, easy to store. But enough of the talking, let's go ahead and check out what's inside. All right, so we have the Mezco mask out of the packaging, and I have to say, this guy is absolutely awesome. Super happy to have him in my collection, and I think Mezco did a fantastic job just in general. There's a couple gripes I have, but I have to say for the whole summary of this, it's a pretty awesome figure. Like, this has to be one of the best tailored suits Mezco has done for one of their 112th action figures. This is such a good quality suit. Like feeling it in hand, very sturdy, has just a really nice feel to it. It's thick. Not only does it have this beautiful um, outside with some amazing stitch work, but it has this nice like silk interior, like an actual suit. So I think that's fantastic. Um, you know, you got the inside, you got an actual, well, this isn't a functional pocket, but they got the pocket stitched on there. It's a really cool um, tie. It has this rubber band elastic to hold it around the neck so you can adjust it. it has a plastic belt. This does kind of hinder the articulation a little bit, but I'll get to that later. And then, um, yeah, just looking at the figure itself. Really, the star of the show here is the head sculpts. They're you know beautiful man these are fantastic head sculpts they are hollow though i mean they don't feel too light but they don't feel very heavy you can definitely tell these are hollow head sculpts i mean you can even see like light kind of shining through it like see that <laughs> i think it's absolutely hollow i mean it, it makes me less worried about breaking them but i kind of prefer the more heavier thicker head sculpts over hollow ones but you know not to say it's bad or anything. This is a beautiful looking head sculpt. I, I am just in love with this. This is so awesome. Please give me more Mezco mask stuff or just more action figure of the mask stuff. I'm a huge fan of the mask and just his design. I, I just love the way he looks. I wish we got the yellow suit as well. I don't really know why they went with the blue design, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. This isn't how he's going to come out of the package as well. Um, I kind of played around with him and put a different head sculpt on. I really like this head sculpt. I just think it looks so sick and savage. He looks all cuckoo. And you have the blood dripping down his nose and stuff. So yeah, just really cool looking figure. I guess um, we'll go over the accessories. Because there is a lot to go over here. Well, first of all, we'll check out this Tommy gun here. It does have a, re a removable clip right there so you can take that out um, and then he has his trigger finger and his open splayed out hand um, a lot of hands just like usual I think we always forget to realize how much accessories Mezco really gives you so I have to say it does feel like it's worth the price this is one of the smaller um, amounts of accessories surprisingly for a Mezco figure I will say that but um here we go we got a pointing finger oh don't want to lose that does have a skin flesh tone pointing finger another splayed out hand and then 
He comes with two trigger fingers, obviously. His left hand trigger finger as well. Kind of just relaxed, semi-closed hands. Another one. And then he comes with fists. Obviously two fists, because one fist would be weird. I, I have a little bit of some weird paint issues with mine. That's a bad example, actually. But I had some weird paint issues... Um, with the green kind of rubbing off and getting on the suit. So I would be cautious. I don't know if I can really even see it on camera. It's right there. You can kind of see that. And then the neck had this weird black line. But I just kind of, you know, scraped it off. I don't recommend doing that. But I'm not mad, you know. It was very noticeable at first. That was just a huge black line down his neck. But I'm not upset at all. I still love this figure regardless. He comes with these crazy guns. Like, look at this, man. You're just not going to see this anywhere. That's what I love about the mask. This is just completely out of the ordinary. Really cool to see. Um, and then, yeah, you could put them together. So, this is the other gun. Like a laser gun or something. <laughs> something you would see on an alien movie, sci-fi movie. You could take this one apart. And then you can put the pistols on here. So yeah, not only does it have some really cool accessories, but it has some really fun play factors. So that's sick. Love that. And then look at this. Freaking just so cool, man. There's a little rubber ducky on top. Like, what is this? And I think you could take these clips out. I might be wrong. Can you take them out? Yes, you can. See? comes out i wouldn't really mess with that if i were you though because you lose one piece and you're never gonna find it again he comes with two bombs uh another clip for his tommy gun pistol with i believe this is it yeah look at that movable that is a trip. Look at that. See, this is the craziest stuff Mezco does. They, they don't really need to do, but they, they go above and beyond. Like, how cool is that? You got the movable barrel, and you can literally see the bullets inside of there. That is just insane. I don't think this comes out, but that is just so crazy. Attention to detail is insane. You got the Mac 10 with the removable clip as well. And then extra magazines. Love that in case you lose the other ones. And then this long row of bullets. You can put that in this gun. Dude, like what? Photographers are going to go crazy with this one. This is just so I love this. This is just so sick. Um, and then an even longer clip because this one wasn't long enough. Or is it the same size? Oh, it is the same size. Okay, so just another extra clip. Thankfully, because people lose stuff. And then you have all these bullet effects, which we have seen before. So I don't think any of these are new. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't think these are new. I don't know if they would fit in these ones, though. Well, I guess they would, huh? Yeah, they do. Really cool. So, yeah, bullet effects and then your usual stand. And then, oh, hit him in the face. The plastic stand. So, yeah, an abundance of accessories. Happy they're there. Am I going to use all of them? Absolutely not. I almost forgot to show off his additional head sculpts. I don't know how that went past me, but this is just fantastic as well. Like, look at that. This one feels a little bit more hefty than the other ones, but it's still hollow. It's like a vinyl plastic material. And then the other one, which is the main one that he's going to be having when you open them up out of the box probably the most popular one but yeah i don't know how that went past me but those are the head sculpts and they all look fantastic 
and then yeah qc wise everything is pretty fantastic on mine um i will say this joint right here is a little bit loose but obviously he's wearing a suit i'm not even going to notice that then we had that weird paint uh issue with the neck and then a little bit of paint rub on his his blue collar but i'm not surprised because it's a green a very vibrant green head sculpt it's bound to happen regardless very happy with this figure let's go ahead and check out the articulation there is a little bit of some articulation hinder hindered because of the design of this figure not really stuff that i'm surprised by i just wish there was a way we can kind of get past this stuff but beggars can't be choosers so you can look down that much nothing too crazy looks down fantastic though all the neck rotation you could possibly want arms go up yay high you know you got the the cloth vest in there or the cloth shirt in there that you don't want to rip it but they can go forward very well can go backward extremely well so you can get some cool naruto running poses you know you got your rotation at the upper bicep double jointed elbows uh, rotation at the wrist forward and backward or side to side depending on how you position it he does have a fantastic diaphragm joint i will say that so you can get some great crunching doesn't look like much but it's it's pretty good for a guy in a suit you know um, i believe there's a lower waist joint but like i said this belt kind of kind of blocks it but you can see it's there because you can rotate out the waist um, but you don't want to push it too far i don't want to rip it um, and then legs can do that much of a split, but you know, if you do one at a time, goes forward that much, goes to the side more. Um, rotation at the thigh, double jointed knees, and then you can get the forward and backward at the foot, and then a little bit of an anchor, ankle rocker. Excuse my language, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and then, yeah. But like I said, I think the star of the show is the head sculpts for sure, they are fantastic. The accessories, these crazy guns. You're never going to see this with any figures. I don't know any characters that would have that. Um, and the quality of the suit. I don't know if I said that already. But yeah, just quality with this suit is just stupendous. I love this a lot. It's, it's fantastic. This is really a great um, example of what Mezco can do when they put a lot of love into a figure. But yeah. Let's go ahead and stand them up with some other figures and see what it looks like in your collection. All right, so we have a couple different action figures so you can get a sense of what he's gonna look like on your shelf. To the right, we have the new Shadow from the Sonic 3 movie from Jack Specific. We have the 85 year anniversary Wolverine to the right, the Marvel Legends, and then we have the Martian, not the Martian, the Manhunter. You can see how I would get that mixed up, but the Manhunter from McFarland DC. And then we have the boy Gambit, uh, the Marvel Legends Gambit. So a little bit of some mix and, you know, just uh, some variety. That way you can tell what he's going to look like on your shelf. And I think he sizes up fairly well. He looks like he's not too tall. Um, I don't believe he's very tall in the comics. So he looks like he's just an average dude who wore a mask that turned him into an OP crazy character all right guys so honestly at the end of the day i am just super thrilled to have a mezco the mask figure or just a mask figure in my collection i don't think this character has any action figures comic version wise i know we got the movie version guys don't don't roast me in the comments but i don't think there is any comic action figures of the mask if i'm wrong feel free to correct me but i'm just super happy to have this guy in my collection i am a huge fan i think mezco absolutely killed it they gave us amazing accessories they did a great job on the suit there's just so much fun factor to this action figure you could do so much with it so much great photography and just having fun messing around with all the cool accessories not only can you get multiple uses out of the accessories for other characters because there's a lot of cool guns um, but you can use the body buck as a customizer as well this is a great suit um I really do like the head sculpts a lot. Those are definitely my favorite part. I just wish they were like a thick, hefty plastic and they weren't hollow. I don't know if that's an engineering thing 
or if that's just a way to cut corners and make things cheaper i prefer a heftier heavy head plastic because it just feels more quality you know um you're paying a lot of money here so when you feel like things don't feel as um, high quality when you're spending a hundred dollars on a figure uh, it can kind of you know sour the taste but at the end of the day the general consensus is that i am super happy to have this guy um, and then my only other gripe is some of the articulation issues with the shoulders not being able to go up high enough um, you know i'm just surprised that he can't really move them that well i think it's because this shirt is kind of like stuck in there and stitched in it can't really move that much it's really stuck in there maybe that's something i can you know mess with over time but at the end of the day i'm not really surprised because this is a guy in this suit after all so i don't expect him to do crazy acrobatic poses that's just my thing is you know the articulation is a little bit uh boo-boo in some areas and then i wish these head sculpts were you know just straight solid plastic i don't know why they're hollow i don't think they're bad head sculpts though i think these are fantastic these are beautiful head sculpts i cannot stress that enough so yeah at the end of the day my verdict and my rating for this figure is going to be a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10 i think mezco absolutely killed it this is a pricier mezco figure i think it's probably because it's a smaller run i'm assuming um but yeah if you're a huge the mask fan recommend this 100 percent. i hope the Me or i hope mezco gives us a yellow suit version of the mask so that's my you know mind's eye of the mask i'm still happy to have this blue suit but when i think of the mask i think of the yellow one anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoy my content feel free to subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this figure if you got it yourself um if not now you know i definitely re recommend it if you're thinking about getting it absolutely pull the trigger i love this figure a lot but uh yeah appreciate all you guys thank you for showing up and watching my videos peace out everyone have a great day